Sometimes there are cities where everything just goes right. St. Louis was that city for us. One of the best cities ever created. There's a lot of best in this episode. One, One city, city two three bites, bites three four sites. sites. We went to the downtown to eat lunch, and we went to this super good sandwich place called Pickles Deli. Quinn ordered first, and he's like, you don't want any mayo or anything like that? And Quinn's like, no. And then I ordered and got up and basically just had the meat. He laughed, but at least he didn't call me a baby. It was really funny when they laughed at Matt about his sandwich choice. But I respect someone who likes the simple classic things. I got the Pickles Club sandwich on a pretzel roll, the best ever created. My Reuben sandwich was so good. Nice and toasty, but then also soft on the inside. The fresh shaved corned beef. It was so good. We parked nearby, and then Pickles Deli is right by the arch. It's the smallest national park in America, sandwiched right downtown, right along the river. To get in, the museum and, and the gift shop is actually free. You just have to go through a security check. You can pay for the tram. There's a riverboat cruise and a movie. We decided to do the tram, go all the way to the top. You ready for this? No. Yeah, no. Uh-huh. I only was scared because I thought, if it isn't the steps or a ladder, how do you get up there? Something that's taller than the Reunion Tower in Dallas. And the pods are grouped together in a chain of eight pods, and they just kind of make their way up the arch to the top. Here's my concern. If you saw the size of those things, if someone farts in that, deadly. Oh, oh, well, watch out. <laughs> It reminds me of the escape pod in the original Star Wars. Take away a quarter of a hotel bed, and it's about that size in wrap. Four minute ride up, it goes pretty slow. I cannot do the stairs that fast. So it does self-level, but it's not scary. It doesn't swing back and forth. Are you sure this thing is safe? You get to the top, and there are these little peeking holes that can peek down at St. Louis. Sometimes we call those windows. I heard it both ways. <laughs> <laughs> it was a competition and there were other entries. And it's fun because in the museum you get to see the other things that people had wanted to put in. But nothing is quite as eye-catching or amazing as the arch. So I'm really glad that one. It's pretty cool that you can see and learn about, about the history here. Um, of St. Louis and the area and how it's tied to the Louisiana Purchase. Dredd and Harriet Scott, Thomas Jefferson, yeah. Lewis and Clark Expedition, all in the museum that you can kind of explore for yourself. I think I'd like the white rifle, please. And the white keg and the white bottles. Do you have anything in off-white? Perhaps cream, maybe? Insert drum sound effect. When we got down, we did some fun stuff, and then me and Mom were taking a selfie, and then took a selfie, and then... Out the window, I could see Matt and Elliot in the courtyard, so I'm like, awesome, I'm gonna, like, get a picture and film them and stuff, so I started filming. And I slipped. It's maybe, like, an inch of water, so I just got my butt wet. I did laugh, but I also felt bad for him. So we got another national park. Check off the list. There's a sign that shows you in St. Louis, like you're downtown and all of a sudden they're like, you are here. And then it shows you where a battle was. So like you're in the middle of the trenches or something like that. So right here, what was happening? A uh, battle? Isn't that crazy? Yeah. The courthouse is cool. There's a statue outside of it of Harriet and Dred Scott. So what's neat is this courthouse is where Dred and Harriet Scott filed their suit for their federal court case that ended up making it to the Supreme Court. And even though they lost that case, it's one of the decisions that led to the 13th, 14th, and 15th amendments added to the Constitution. So we were leaving the arch and saw a lot of people in Cardinals jerseys. And so it was right around six o'clock. And we're like, I wonder if they have a game. So Matt looked up the info, got super cheap tickets for us. To the best MLB stadium ever created. Wow, this stadium is gorgeous. Man, they do things right in St. Louis when it comes to baseball. That was a really cool experience. 
Got to see Albert Pujols in po probably his last season. Here we go, boys and girls. The beginning of the last day. Matt keeps making us sad by being like, last day, guys, last day. <laughs> I had the best decaf coffee ever created. I have been waiting six years for this coffee. We did a road trip a while back where we drove to Nashville and we stopped at this coffee house that I had heard about, the Mud House. And I got this rosemary honey latte and it was amazing. So I finally got back to it and I got to have it again and it was as good as I remembered. It's better than, it's better than my shake in my dream. It's so good. We went to the best museum ever. The city museum. for kids. You get to climb around on a bunch of different stuff. You get to slide down these like bar slides. It's so fun. The city museum reminds me of like, if you found all these cool scrap parts at a junkyard and made them into something really rad. You could pay a little bit of extra and get on the rooftop and they've got this cool like bus that's actually hanging off the side of the building. They have a Ferris wheel on top of the roof. The city museum is not just for kids. Even the one really long big slide that they have on the rooftop. When I got up there with Elliot, I asked the guys like, can adults go on this too? He's like, you bet they can. Honestly, it's like a kid's dream, but it's a grown up's dream too. I fit everywhere, but just barely. There are tons of areas to discover and explore. They have so many things where you just want to know where it leads. There are hallways that might seem pointless because you just loop around. No way! But they're not pointless, they're so... Fun. I could be here like a literal full day, 24 hours. <laughs> we went to the Missouri Botanical Garden. I really loved it. I wish we could have spent so much more time there. We purchased tickets, just right there, easy peasy. At nighttime, <laughs> at nighttime, there were plants and eat every visitor. When the sun plants. plants. Where plants. Their plants. I loved everything about it. I loved the architecture. I loved, they do these glass ornaments in the ponds. They have the biggest lily pads I've ever seen in my life. Climatron is fourth in line to the Decepticon throne. If he's called to action against Autobots, he will transform and take off. But hopefully not hurt us in the process. A coconut is a seed, up to 50 pounds. Oddly enough, none of us really thought of those as seeds, but they are the largest seeds in the world. There were these cute sheep on the hillside and you could sit on them, they're not real. What happened? I think my sheep died, he's not moving. Oh no. And then Matt said, are they dead or just stubborn? They have a children's garden, which has a lot of things that kids can climb on and play with. Yep. It was something that you could add on. Um, to the entry, and I think that's definitely worth it if you have kids. Yeah, and then we did this last one, which is my favorite thing. There are a bunch of little there, kids there, obviously, but guess what I did? I went in the water. I kind of wish we had a little more time to spend there because it seems like a place where you can just go and relax. I definitely want to go back. If you come to St. Louis, toasted ravioli is a big thing, so you have to have it. So we ended up at this place in a neighborhood called The Hill, and it's all Italian. It's so many Italian restaurants and, and flags, and it's decorated super cute, and all the houses are nice and cute, and I just loved it. I loved it. Elliot and I shared a pizza. Love the four meats. The best ever created. They were not joking about the toasted ravioli. I think lived up to the height. I'm gonna give everyone one guess what Quinn ordered. Ready, go. Chicken and fries.
We had super good gelato. It was amazing. And they let you do multiple flavors depending on what size you get. I got the medium and I got three flavors in one cup. It was gelato de riso. It was amazing and a cute building and great workers and really fantastic gelato. Um, I like mint the most. Mint, zucchini, biscotti. Pineapple and then cherry mascarpone. There's a fountain and a plaza behind there. It's such a cute area and there's the church with the bells ringing. All of it was so picturesque and a really amazing end Delicious. to our time here. I don't think he knows how to play chess. <laughs> <laughs> St. Louis is the best city ever created and it was just one of those trips, one of those cities where everything just lines up and you enjoy it all. Even what you're seeing in this video is just a little bit of what you can do. I would go back if I could, for sure. So we definitely want to come back here and visit some more. Thanks for watching and make sure to subscribe. And click the bell and we'll see you next time. How was your sandwich? This is strictly preventative. It prevents me from being prevented from cooking. My family is weird at times, at a lot of times. So subscribe to see them be weird at times. <laughs> <laughs>